Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, good afternoon, teacher. Yeah, good afternoon. Sorry. I came back late from school due to the heavy rain. I just arrived. Okay, anyway. Uh I will start. Uh where were we? Who are reading spider for your life? Uh, uh, page number, just say page. Uh, page number 133, Cosper. Uh, I saw some students work on Bible, Telegram. Which ones are you using? Some have already handed in, right? Homework. Uh, the chat, I sent it in Gmail, the homework. Oh, Gmail. Okay, okay. Because in Gmail, there are many students work for. Oh, okay. I might, I might check it. Okay. okay, okay. I will check. Okay, everybody, I will start with course book. We were doing the great Karoo. For the great Karu, did we discuss number six? Hello? Yes, teacher. Number six. For the great Karoo, uh, we finish all. How much spice up your life? Uh, no. We haven't we haven't started yet. Okay. We will do spice up your life. Those who would like to write about the beat, there are many interesting expressions in this reading test. So everybody. I want you to read Spice Up Your Life and try to understand the word. Ah, oh, wait. I let you read yesterday. Am I right? Yes, teacher. Yes, so uh, we must go on reading directly. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Okay. Wait, teacher, we haven't done number six. I'm not sure whether you skip it or not. Wait, wait, wait. I will check it. Okay. Right, a paragraph. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Later, 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 I will let you write. So I will skip those for the sake of them. At first, I plan that now I will skip because we don't have time for the other exercises. So I will focus on writing only. So let's do spice up your life. <clears throat> spice up your life. And I let you read and search for the new words in dictionary. So now, catch with this, read the first paragraph, and we will discuss. Uh, there are so many adventurous weddings on the Magic Earth Island of uh, Gran uh, Granada. The speaks of the how to pronounce the spice. Yeah, the spice of, of the, the Caribbean. Uh, Caribbean. If your idea of paradox. Involves uh involves 
white uh, white sands, uh, swings, plums, uh, plums and blamies blues oceans, and the Caribbean island of Granada is your dreams come true. This sun kissed, uh, uh, how to pronounce this? Thing? Ice. I S L E. Oh, this sun kissed eyes. Uh, eyes. Ice. Ice. Yes, it's truly a stroke perfumed with the uh, spikes for which uh, it is famous. And uh, boasting uh, rainforests, mountains, waterfalls, and lake. And wind, it feels remote, it easy to get to. Mm, okay, so there are some adventures waiting on the magical island. So those um these days you know most your youngsters like adventurous stuff so they like adventure so uh the two operators mostly choose the one that ha that the customers or their clients could seek for adventures so here adventures waiting on the magical island highlight adventures Highlight waiting on the magical island. <clears throat> Highlight magical island. How do you understand my magical island? Mm -hmm. How do you understand my magical island? It means like, you know, it is really wonderful. That is called a magical island. Uh, it is so wonderful. That is why... Uh, we could compare it with the magic. And where is it? You, whenever you describe a place, you need to describe the location. Granada, Granada, sorry. Granada, the spice of the Caribbean. Mm. So it is uh, around the Caribbean. And it is used like paradise. Everybody highlight paradise. Paradise, you know, it is compared with a paradise event. You should learn. It is quite persuasive. And what involves white sands, swinging palms, you know, palms a kind of trees. You could see them in the picture. So everybody highlight paradise involves white sands, Swing palms, palming blue ocean, palming blue, alliteration. Recording our progress. And palming blue ocean highlight. When you describe the place near the water, you can use those. And here, look at the way of writing. The Caribbean island of Granada is your dream come true. You should write that way. Your dream come true. It's persuasive. And you can use that language directly. Blah, 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 blah island. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's your dream come true. And another one, the sunkissed eyes. How do you understand my sunkissed eyes? Hmm? Give me mute, mute. How do you understand my sunkissed? Everybody discuss, otherwise it is boring. How do you understand? Uh, a drink. Uh, sand, sand. Oh my God. Look at. <laughs> oh, Jamai, what are you saying? Look at the book. My sink is is S U N K I S S E D, not the name of the drink. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm talking about the lesson. <laughs> not, I think you are thinking of the drink. <laughs> sink is means you know yeah. you can you can get sunlight. You know you can get enough sunlight there, there. so you can you can sunbathe. It means so here. Sank is eyes. Eyes means island. Okay, highlight. Sank is eyes. 
really exotic, really, you know, unique. You could not find that kind of thing in another place that is called unique, exotic. And how about the 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 smell? Perfume with the spices from which uh, for which it is famous. Another one, everybody. Perfume with the spices. So it means that you can get nice smell because of the flowers, although it is not mentioned. And perfume, perfume with the spices. Perfume with the prices. Okay. It is famous and post everybody next. Boasting rainforest. So you could see rainforest there. Highlight boasting. In general, you know that place is boasting. So boasting means showing off. It means it shows off the rainforest. Mountains, waterfalls, they are the nature, the features of nature. Mountains, waterfalls, and lake. They all are natures. Hosting rainforests, mountains, waterfalls, and lakes. Highlight. And why it feels remote, it is easy to get to. So it means that if you would like to go to remote area, it is the perfect place. Remote means, you know, far from the city. Perfect place. And that's so here. Magical means really wonderful and not, not the real magic, right? It means wonderful. We have to translate like that. Exotic means very, it is unique, right? Wonderful, strange, something like that. Perfume, you know, perfume is used as a verb. It means good smell. You can get good smell. Okay, that's all. And highlight some remarkable words. The second part, Kevin Reed, Kevin Reed. <clears throat> Kevin, are you with me? Hello, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Kevin, are you with me? Uh, yes. Questions. Okay, come on. You know where we are? Second paragraph, guy. Hmm? Why don't you continue? Come on, come on. Then I'm you. Whether you are taking a romantic break, traveling with friends, or bringing the whole family, Grenada has endless attractions. There are more than 40 and spot white sand shores to enjoy, such as Grand and Beach, a two mile expanse carving around a peaceful bay. Fancy Sam Avenger. There's so much to choose from. Walking in Grand Canyon National Park, going back in time to an authentic walking 17th century plantation, participating in a variety of water sports, including snorkeling among the puddles, becoming an 18th century pirate for the day on a replica pirate ship. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Not only for those who who seek for adventures. But also, but also for those who would like to go, who would like to take a romantic break. Everybody highlight taking a romantic break. We use that way. So those who are going on 
Honey, uh, honey we can go there. Right? So it means taking a romantic break. Highlight. And or another one, those who like to travel with friends or family. Yeah, mm. Not only for the romantic break yeah, and yeah. traveling with friends and the whole family. It is a perfect deal. You could say that. Oh, blah, blah, blah has endless attraction. Highlight. Canada has endless attraction. So you can put the place. And why? There are more than 40 and slight white sand shores. Everybody highlight and slight white sand shores to enjoy. And slight means it is not damaged, right? It is not damaged. That is called and slight. And what kind of shores? Oh, yeah. yeah, white sand shores. And you can put and join. No, no, no. And no, no. next no. one is at two my expense carving around a peaceful bay. So next one is peaceful bay. Bay, bay or bangle. You know the meaning of bay, everyone? Hmm? Bay or bangle. Wait. To me, how do you understand my bay? Hello? Hello? Yeah, how do you understand my bay? Is, like, like in Burmese, Bay of Bengal, how do you understand my this? No, 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 no. Bay of Bengal. Jalita, how are you translated? Bay uh, of Bengal. Yes. Yes. So here, a peaceful bay. Right? And Everybody here the question and but it is not it is not grammatically correct. Fancy Sam Adventure. It is a question. It shows it draws the attention of the reader. Fancy means like. So instead of using like, you can use fancy. Those who like adventure. There's so much to choose from. So you can choose. There are some different activities for those who like adventure stuff. Adventure, sorry, or adventurous stuff. Like walking, going uh walking in Grand at the end, National Park, going back in time, blah blah blah. You are given the uh, different activities. Here, authentic walking 17th century plantation. Real plantation. Authentic means real. Authentic means real, genuine, authentic, real, the same. So plantations, you could enjoy the plantations and like snow killing, blah, blah, blah. You are given uh, many things. On a uh, way, you, you could also become an, an 18th century pirate. You can become a pirate, not a real pirate, right? You can, you can wear the pirate costumes and... You can enjoy the life of a pirate way on a replica pirate ship. Everybody, everybody, replica means the sample, you know, the fake one, not the real one. That is called replica. We have, in Happy World, we have replica haunted Haunted houses. Those who like adventurous stuff, they go and they go there for fun, right? That is replica. It means copy. Okay. In this paragraph, you could learn these. All right. The last one, Kevin, you didn't read the, the previous paragraph, so you are supposed to read. Uh, the, the island, islands, the island capital, capital St. George. St. George is widely regarded as one of the prettiest towns in the Caribbean, Caribbean. 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 And its harbor is a great place to enjoy freshly caught seafood. 
the ice the island abounds with pounds with pounds with fragrant fragrant spice ice. trees. So there is no, no shortage of tasty Caribbean Caribbean cuisine to enjoy. There are coca trees all over the Grande, Grande Grande Grande. and uh, the beans are harvested, harvested to make delicious, delicious chocolate. chocolate. The island is, yeah, yeah, could you please continue until the end? Okay, uh, the island is Europe's soup resort. Super. Super resort. Super resort and luxurious, luxurious ho hotels. Luxurious hotels. Whatever you do on this Idlis Caribbean, Caribbean island, it's likely to be pretty special. Special, yeah. Um, here, you, you are mentioned the capital of the island, widely regarded as widely regarded as as the prettiest town right we uh in Myanmar, uh Pyongyang is widely regarded as one of the prettiest towns right that way you can you can substitute some places is harbor is a great place to enjoy freshly hot seafood whenever you talk about a place you can talk about the food so you can use like enjoy freshly caught seafood. You can learn this expression and apply them directly. And uh, the island bounds with fragrant spice, spice trees. You know, some leaves, they have smell, good smell, right? And when we go near the trees, we could get a uh, sweet smell. That one. The island bounds with means, you know, there are many trees on that island, uh, like many fragrant spice trees. Everybody highlight many fragrant, uh, fragrant spice trees. Pounds abounds with new, uh, new ever, uh, sorry verb. The island abounds with, and so there is no shortage of tasty Caribbean cuisine to enjoy. And next one is cuisine. You know, Myanmar cuisine, Thai cuisine, you know, cuisine, Italian cuisine, like that. You can, instead of saying food, curry, you can say cuisine. And there are co coca trees all over Granada, so it is a kind of tree. And the beans are harvested. You know, there are some fields, it means. Near the, the island, there are some fields to make delicious Chocolate. Yeah, delicious, you know, tasty. Harvested cat. And the next paragraph, if you want to conclude your writing, it is nice. The island is full of super resort. Full of super resorts and luxurious hotel. Whenever you describe a word, uh, you, you have got an you have a word, you must think the suitable adjective for that now. For example, resource, resource center, you know that, right? And super means very good, very good. So instead of saying good, 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 very boring, you are supposed to use different words, super, brilliant, fantastic, something like that, right? So here, super means brilliant, very good. And for hotels, you can say like luxurious, luxurious hotel. And yeah, it is really special. Yeah. Actually, if you learn these expressions, you can apply them in your writing. So please learn. The main focus is only this. So I don't need to uh, discuss P because why I'm, I was discussing the paragraph, I have already explained these words, right? Briefly. I will go this one. It will be another writing task. So not to be overloaded, trying to finish the first one, those who have been handed in, finish it. In the exam, you will definitely encounter writing questions. Here, 
writing class, another writing class. About 150 words. One hundred and fifty words. One hundred to one hundred and fifty words. Word limit. <clears throat> I won't wait a minute. Mm. I will do number nine, sorry, not number eight. I choose number nine. Yeah, number eight. Mm, this one. <clears throat> So you don't go, you please read. Your task now is. Um, your task now is to write your own holiday advertisement. Think of a name and location for an imaginary island. Read the key point below, then make a list of the features of your island in an uh how to pronounce features of in an adjacent column. In an adjacent column. List, list suitable phrases, phrases. With which to describe them using your list, your notes for activity five and test nine B and I C S style models. Write a one page magazine advertisement for the island and give it to your teacher. I will widen the scope. It means not only the island, you can choose any place as you like. For example, if you want to write about the Hawaii island again. But you need to read the island first, about the island first on on the website, right? And take some interesting notes. Which words are suitable for notes? I, I don't want you to copy paste. It's, it doesn't work. In the exam, you won't remember anything. So I want you to apply the words that you have learned in, in nine, 9B and 9C. So you are supposed to mainly use the, the expressions from 9B and 9C. Those who are going to choose the mountainous area or the countryside, you, you are supposed to use more words from 9B. But if it is suitable, you can use some words from 9C. Those who are going to use the, the place which is related to the water, you can choose some more words from 9C. Okay? Before you write, you need to think uh, that the, you need to search the data. I don't want exact data. Just only, I want you to use some expression only, expression for holiday advertisement. And wait, whenever you talk about a holiday uh, advertisement, of course, you need to show off the good points of that place, right? And location, the name, of course, there are many things for that. And the next thing that you need to consider is activities. What activities that you can, that, that the tourists or the people, mostly the tourists are interested in doing activities, right? They might just pay, they just go on pilgrimage. So a bit boring. So uh, different activities, right? So you need to consider for uh, different activities. And the next thing is hotels and guest houses. <clears throat> so you need to show off hotels and guest houses too. So for hotels, the language will be taught very soon. I will teach today about hotels. So you could take some words from hotels. Very soon you will learn about hotels. So for hotels, you can learn the words and some sentences from from the next one. And why people should try that place something like that. All right. Um, the previous one, although I don't do that exercise, you need to consider the colors, sense of uh sun senses, right? Smell color, something like that. You can choose some expressions suitably, appropriately. 
Okay, these are the, uh, how should I say, the, the, the necessary facts that you are supposed to consider for your writing. The deadline will be next Tuesday. Deadline will be next Tuesday because I will give you another task. It's not a lot, only 100, 100 to 150. Choose the interesting one. Oh, by the way, don't write about the given ones. The great Karu, you cannot, you cannot choose that. And also you cannot choose about the Karan Nada. You need the new one. Okay, the new one. Now let's go to next about hotels. People, advertising language, I will let you read for knowledge. Su Ming, would you like to read and the rest read silently? Uh, advertisement, advertising language, advertisement use requiring metaphor or points oh, as yeah, in yeah. spice up your life. Uh, positive colors are referred to those which are associated with pleasure and relaxation such as gold, blue, white, and chocolate. Familiar, not original idea and language are the aim, so one can expect to buy, uh, to Literally. buy clean life, clean uh, farms, clean farms, paradise, and dream can come in true. Hmm. Passive language. Passive language. Okay. So you need to use positive colors, positive adjectives that shows pleasure and relaxation. And some uh, good adjectives, and uh, you can use ind adjectives, of course. And good words like paradise, dreams come true. Okay, that way. All right, I won't go to detail. Actually, there are more, so I will choose some students to read to continue. Touch with and read. Alliteration is used. Uh, electrician is used to make the message stronger. Uh, Innsbruck's uh, pen bombing, a bombing blue. blue. Uh, artist, I, artist kick, vocabulary. Uh, I kick vocabulary is employed to give romantic or war feelings to a place. I, I list a uh, shorts. Shorts. Uh, Yes, hyphenated, 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 compound additive. Give a sense of a a, a panax and a rich nax and introduce a metaphor. Uh, in verse, sand kicks for a complete admiral's or uh, spirit. Uh, a fat advocates uh, a verse for a place includes all places include all five senses. Uh, how to pronounce this teacher? Rhetorical, Five senses. Uh, rhetorical question. Uh, rhetorical questions are used to make it seem that uh that the event uh that the avert advertiser, advertiser uh, knows uh, know exactly what the reader uh deserves and uh that the need can be certified. Uh next sentences uh simple non -sentences, sentences or no sentences. Uh, simple sentences or sentences being uh, beginnings with and so and or are used to convey the ideas of endless uh, opportunities for enjoyment. enjoyment. Mm. So overall, I why explaining, why discussing the paragraphs I explained already. You can put alliteration, some devices, rhetorical questions, but. You need to underline the effects. Supposing how to apply. Supposing you will be given a reading test in the exam. And you will be asked some questions related to alliteration. What is the effect of the use of alliteration? But you don't have ideas. But you don't have ideas. But you, from, from the paragraph, you can take. <clears throat> if you have 
brief ideas. You can answer. You can answer um the related. You can give you can give the related answers. I mean, uh, from this theory. Actually, these are only theories. According to the passage, you can give uh the you can change the subject matter. You can change the subject matter, but the main idea is quite the same. For example, I I will show you. For example, yeah, 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 given lot. Hmm. For example, yeah. What is the effect of the use of electrician? So here, you need to change the subject matter, but the key ones must be this one to make the message stronger. The message of blah 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 stronger that way. The message is related to the reading test, but the main idea you can learn and prepare in advance. It means why? Why is the why is alliteration used? So you can you can say that way. And hyphenated compound words. Yes, <clears throat> but I I was skipping. Oh, this is important. Another one is rhetorical questions. Why does the writer use? Some rhetorical questions in the reading test. You know what rhetorical questions are, right? You don't need to answer <clears throat> to just to draw the attention. It depends on the situation, you can change some words. But the idea must be quite similar to this. But according to the current writing, it is about travel advertising. So here, the advertiser knows exactly what the reader desires and that the need can be justified. Depending on the text, it may be different. How about non sentences? So it means incomplete sentence, no verb, right? Sometimes you may encounter no verb, simple sentences or sentences beginning with and so or. So sentences beginning with and so or. What is the effect? Convey the idea of endless opportunities for enjoyment. If you don't know how to learn, there are many things to learn in English. But if you if you know how to, there are many. Oh, here, here. Five senses, a complete atmospheric effect. To get a complete atmospheric atmospheric effect. You can use this theory. Depending on the situation, change a little bit. Not only in grade eight, grade nine, you will encounter the similar ones. At that time, <clears throat> depending on the test, you can, you can substitute some words, but the main idea is this. You know how to apply from the theory? Mm. That's why I let you underline the key words. All right. I think it is enough. I will skip this. I will go to the hotel. Just read. Uh, we will let you. We, we will read this. Just for, for the ideas for hotels. Let's go to 9E. And then I will read the introduction. The following are... <clears throat> the following are web 
reviews of hotels in Harel, Zimbabwe, 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 Mexico City, and New Delhi, New Delhi India. India. Okay, so the first one, uh, that's one we like to read. Garden Hotel. Your, your connection is not that good, so I could not hear clearly, to be honest. I'm sure I would like to continue from here. The room was clean. The room was clean, the towers were plentiful and fresh, and there was a TV with English-speaking channels. There was sufficient choice at breakfast, and eggs were cooked to order. On one occasion, I ate dinner there too, and the service was good and the food tasty, although the menu is rather limited. The location is excellent for relaxing after a hard day's work. The beautiful gardens with a variety of trees and plants and animal sculptures amusingly positioned are a hideaway in which you can sit outside in the day or at night in comfort and safety. Mm. Harari, we pronounce that way. Harari. So the name of the hotel is God, Garden Hotel. Those who like, those who go on a business trip, on a business trip. How about if you want to describe the receptionist stuff, you could use friendly. Yeah, if you want to describe the room, of course, comfortable, old fashioned. Some people, they don't like modern things. Right, we like old fashioned stuff. So, old fashioned had been decorated for many a decade. So, decade means 10 years. So, it's not decorated, it, it seems like it is quite old. Yeah, you can use this word. The word, the verb is contained, contained the basic facilities. So, you bet. For long stay, you can get basic facilities, except only a fridge. That is one thing. And the rooms are clean. And there are some, you can watch TV, blah, blah, blah. Sufficient choice. It means a lot of choices for breakfast. So it means the, uh, you could choose different types of food for breakfast. Sufficient choice. You are supposed to use only good things when you advertise. Location is excellent for relaxing. After a hard day's work, for those who are going on a business trip, that hotel is perfect because after a hard day's work, you, you know, people could relax and location is not very far. So it is perfect. And they can enjoy the beautiful gardens, a variety of trees, blah, blah, blah. You can take it. 
in comfort and safety. In comfort and safety. You don't need to use all, but when you talk about hotels for one paragraph, maybe a few sentences, you can you can combine these points. Hmm? They are interesting. Okay, let's continue next. Hotel Casca del Halcón. I think Halcón, Mexican language. Vanessa, would you like to read? Amelia, would you like to read? Who wants to read? Come on. Uh, should I read? Yeah, yeah, you should. We hadn't pre-booked that one. Hello, teacher? Yeah, yeah, I we can hear you. Yeah. Uh, we hadn't pre-booked for a weekend stay, but we were go given a room at the French of the hotel overlooking the street and a lovely park with the fountain. It was quiet in the evening all on to the area being more residential, uh, residential than commercials. Commercial. Our room was cleaned daily. We had a hammock, a hammock on our balcony, and the back was comfortable. A Mexican potential perfect was included, with, and the king, uh, the kitchen. kitchen that yeah. were very obligate. 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 The friends that, that were mostly very friendly and helpful and probably would have been more so if we spoke, spoke Spanish. There are several good places to eat nearby, but they are not easy to find. The hotel is within walking distance of the metro station and the bus stop. Uh, this was accompanied by loud reported music we could have done without. The most important facility was the free Wi Fi. Okay, everybody look at it. We hadn't pre-booked for, so you don't need to pre pre-book. Here are the words, pre-book. You don't need to reserve for the whole weekend stay. You can, you can contact them directly. So, stay, weekend stay, pre-booked. There's the fountain. It is more residential than commercial. So residential area. So it is quite relaxing, peaceful, commercial. There are a lot of shops and busy, busy area, right? Commercial area is busy. But it is more residential. So it means that just for, uh, for relaxing, something like that. And the rooms are cleaned every day, daily, clean daily. We had a hammock on our balcony. You know, hammock. How do you understand my hammock? So you know, how do you understand my hammock? Hmm? Hammock. Who wants to say? I, I think, think it's something like when you uh you tie around like the end of the hammock inside and you can lay on that. Hmm. Yeah, you are right. Sometimes if you want to relax in the forest, you know, you can sit on the hammock that way. So on our bed, Bunny, there is the hammock. The bed is comfort comfortable. 
continental breakfast. Everybody, you can name the breakfast, continental breakfast for the foreigners. You know, they would like to have different breakfast, continental breakfast. And here for the staff, you can use this one, obligation. Friendly is quite boring, then you can use obligation. So they, they are very obedient. For example, if you like vegetarian food, they will arrange vegetarian cuisine. That is. They are very friendly, helpful. You can use them appropriately. A uh, walking distance of the metro station. Sometimes, you know, you need to consider the transport. So walking distance of the metro station. In Myanmar, we don't have metro station, but in some countries, for transport or bus stop, you can see like that. Accompanied by loud recorded music. So you can enjoy different types of music and free Wi-Fi, something like that. <clears throat> Got it? Just learn some words. When you describe photos, you can use some words here. The last one, Royal Hotel, New Delhi. To Mary. This is one of a chain of historic, historic high standard hotels in India, all beautifully designed in perfect locations, but very different. Uh, I love the I love this one for its wonderful infinity pool, the great gym facilities, attentive staff, and wonderful internet shopping area. The beds are so generously, generously sized and comfortable that you will not want to get up in the morning. Because I was there for work, uh, I ate alone each night at one of the, the many... At, at Nick restaurant, uh, the food each time was authentic and delicious. Don't miss the pass. Don't miss the patisseries with its wonderful and unique cake flashing in the shapes of handbags or shoes. Hmm. What you can learn from this level? High standard hotels, beautifully designed in perfect location. You can get some different facilities like gym facilities. For the staff, attentive staff. Everybody, attentive means they are interested in their customers and their work. They are always ready to give good service to the customers. Attentive stuff. Students should be attentive during the class. So it means that you must be interested in the lessons during the class. That is attentive. Wonderful internal shopping area. Sometimes you can go shopping in the hotel, in the big hotels. You don't need to use I. The food is really authentic. It means uh, organic, you know. No artificial food. You can use the words like unique. Mm. That's all. <clears throat> Actually, you are supposed to write about the hotel separately, but I won't let you write. It separately is that I will let you put the, the about I will let you put the description of photos in 
holiday advertisement. Right? Choose these words. All right. I won't do the rest. Just for reading and learn some beautiful expression. That's all. For language. For writing. I will I will move to the next part that is about the new invention. <clears throat> As it is it is it is a new topic. Uh I might ask you to write about it. I'm not sure yet it, I will check the time. So here I will let you read. It's interesting. The Google driveless car. Everybody just reading, so it's quite boring, but why reading you must be aware of it. Oh no, not that one. Wait. Oh no, not that one. The related questions must be the previous must be in the previous page. One three seven. Number twelve. B and C. <clears throat> B, write a sentence in your own words or as far as possible to explain how the car is able to drive safely. So it is about, about driveless, a driverless car, right? It is about driverless car. And I will, I will let you answer how the car is able to drive safely. Your answer shouldn't be too long, only short to the point. You can search for the information from the paragraph. And C, write a sentence to explain why you think the drive, driverless car is a useful invention. Why? You, you are supposed to say the advantages. The advantages of the driverless car. Why? It is useful. You need to give reasons. So the ideas are from the paragraph. Okay, first of all, I, I will let you read the test quickly. Read. Later we will discuss. Language is quite simple. Understandable.
我们来了，嗯，哇，你那么厉害，这么厉害，这样子，哇，三十，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊
Okay. Sí, es de We will discuss the questions later. Now I will let you read. Then I will read the first paragraph. And the Google driver left car. If there's anything more scary than a car with a bad or incompetent driver, it is a car with no driver, right? right? Not so, say the curious of Google, a mixture of automated mini computers and the archive knowledge of Google Street View cameras mean that a driverless car is actually safer than one with a human being at the wheel. Such Driverless car, so no driver. Yeah. Look at the first sentence. Uh, not sentence, it is a question. So, I mean, what type of question is it? <clears throat> To me, okay. what type of question is it? Do you need to answer? It's rhetorical. Rhetorical. Why? Why? What is the purpose of using the rhetorical question? Um, to make the reader interested. Mm, to draw the reader's interest. Advanced in advanced writing, you you might encounter rhetorical question. When you do, when you write an essay, you can you can use rhetorical questions, especially mostly in introduction parts. Introduction parts, yeah, maybe in introduction or the first part of the individual paragraph. To to introduce the, how should I say? Uh, to introduce the new topic. So rhetorical questions are used in introduction to introduce the topic. <clears throat> for example, here it is it is for the introduction of the topic about the driveless car. So anything more scary than a car with a mat or incomplete driver. Instead of saying driveless, you can use incomplete driver. A car with no driver, right? So <clears throat> that way you can introduce. The gurus of Google, the experts. Gurus, it is, it is a Hindu language. The experts. A mixture of ultimate tech mini computers. Mixture, the combination of ultimate tech mini computers, high advanced. Tech means technology, right? Ultimate tech mini computers. So that computer is very, is advanced. It is advanced and the archaic knowledge of Google Street View cameras. Another one is cameras. Mean that a driverless car is actually safer than one with a human being at the wheel. So here, it a mixture of ultimate tech mini computers and the archive knowledge of Google's <clears throat> Google's street view cameras show that 
a driverless car is really safe. Right? It means like that. Second paragraph. I'm trying to read. Uh, as long ago as 2005, the genius Sebastian Stern works for Stanford University Artificial Intelligence Laboratory led a team which won a $2 million prize, a $2 million prize from the Department of Defense in the USA for developing an auto autonomous driverless car. Since then, the concept has been refined to the point where the cautious law make, lawmakers uh, of Nevada believe that Google's car really can judge real-life road situations as well as if not better than a, a traditional driver. Mm. So here, to make the customers more advanced, more, it gives reliable currency. Yeah. Techno extremist, that is people. People who are very skillful in technology. Techno extremists from where? At Google's Mountain View headquarters. Headquarters mean the main office. Those who are working in main office, they also guarantee that it is really reliable. Not only that, the state of Nevada in the USA has licensed. They also give the license. So it means that drive driverless car is really reliable. Even these two organizations are give, cur giving current. In which way? They view that the people from this company and also Nevada, the state of Nevada in the USA gives license. So it is safe to drive on public highways with without human on board in the car it means instead of saying <clears throat> driverless you can use no human on board the next part Delivery as long as two thousand five. Um, as long as two thousand five, the genius step Sebastian, Sebastian Trent, or Sebastian Trent, 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 who works for Stanford University <coughs> Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, led a team which won a two million dollars prize from the Department of Defense in the USA for developing an autonom uh, autonomous. autonomous autonomous driverless car. Since then, the the concept has been refined to the point where the country lawmaker of Nevada believes that Google car Google car really can judge real life road situation as well as if not better than a traditional driver. Hmm. Yeah, some people you can learn different language for people. The first one. <clears throat> genius. It means that, you know, genius, people who are very skillful in a certain field, who are very clever in a certain field, we call genius. They work for Stanford University at an AI laboratory. They led a team. They, they led a team of producing producing uh, this this car right driverless car which won a two million price from the department of defense for developing an autonomous so it means it is not manual it is driven autonom uh, yeah automatically Oh, this person won that prize from where the Department of Defense is something concerned with military. 
defense. Sebastian Caron won that one at two million price. The concept has been refined to the point where the here cautious learn lawmakers. Lawmakers, people who set the laws. People who set the laws. We call lawmakers. Maybe government or authority concern. Lawmakers. Bel lawmakers of Navenda believe that Google's car really can judge real life road situation. The Fed car can judge real life road situation. It is better than a traditional car. You know, traditional car means the car with drivers. Traditional car. That here can judge real life road situation. Look at another rhetorical question. It, because the writer is moving to a new topic in the next paragraph okay so this time so maybe how does it work uh, how does it work the the car and Toyota pre period yes yes uh, initially is heavily modified with a standing array of detectors uh, including radio cameras lidar and radar. Radar, new technology using laser beams to map the area around the car with extraordinary precision and detail. The, the input of the sensor is integrated by a sophisticated artificial intelligence system, AI system, which compares the image with store street view database to work out exactly where the car is. Uh, the AI unit know the layout of the road ahead and can drive efficiently to avoid sudden braking and acceleration. The sensor are critically keep it aware of other traffic to avoid collision. Mm. Everybody, collisions. So here, you are going to introduce how it works. So you start with rhetorical question, how does it work? Right? In this way, you can introduce the new one. Heavily modified with a stunning array of detectors. It is something concerned with the machines. Modified with a stunning array of detectors. In that detectors, radar, radar camera, leader, it means a new technology using laser beams to 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 map the area around the car with extraordinary precision and detail. You know, laser beams could give extraordinary precision. So it comes from precise. So it means exact, exact and detailed information about the ropes. And the main are uh, here. Modified with a stunning array of details. In that, in in these details, what are included? Radar, radar camera. Sorry, radar camera and litter. Litter means what? A new technology using laser beams to map the area around the car with extraordinary precision and detail. That way. So the main one is a standing array of detectors. And the input of these sensors is integrated by a sophisticated artificial intelligence, AI system. So it has AI system. Sophisticated means modern. You should know it, sophisticated. which compares the images with the stored street view database to work out exactly where the car is. There is a, uh, there is a reliable database, database which is related to computer, to work out where the car is. And also AI units knows the layout of the road ahead. 
So the sensors and AI units could trace the road ahead. And also it can drive efficiently. It's really efficient. To avoid sudden braking, you know, the car won't break suddenly or acceleration. It means the car go, won't go quickly, suddenly. So it will go in normal, <clears throat> normal acceleration, normal speed. And also the sensors. We have already learned about sensors. It has sensors. Sensors critically keep it aware of. So sensor, it, sensors are, are keeping aware of the traffic to avoid collisions. Collisions mean accidents. Not to get accidents, the sensors will, what should I say, will be aware of. This paragraph shows how it works. Okay, the final one. It is the final one. Sinamu read. And the final result. Nearly a quarter of a million kilometers driven on public roads without an accident. How many humans can claim such a record? And this is only the beginning. Hmm. Here, the writer is going to introduce a new topic with a rhetorical question and the final result. That way. Non-sentence, right? Because there is no subject verb. So it's not grammatically correct. A quarter of a million of kilometers driven on public roads. We can go very quickly. It can go very far without an accident. It has such kind of ability, uh, how should I say, efficiency. And here another rhetorical question. How many humans can claim such a record? This is only the beginning. So the car, the driverless car is really efficient. It has reliable records, something like that. You can learn this. So everybody, for the sake of time, I will stop here. The task is summary about this test, the Google Drive driverless car. You don't need to use each and every word, only summary, okay? I will choose some students and I will let you present on this. Present on the summary of this test tomorrow when I start the lesson. Can you do it? The summary only. Just take the important points. So for today, I would like to summarize the lesson. And I have done this about hotels and the important tests for a beach. I have given you writing task to, to be handed in. The deadline is next week, Tuesday, right? Tuesday, I gave you deadline Tuesday. So before you hand in this one, finish the previous one. So this week, two, two writing tasks. And for tomorrow's summary, that's all. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.